the Matt Marshall with the Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Mackenzie, how are you doing today? What's up, Matt? I'm doing good. Yeah. God, not too bad. Um, listen, how, what's that process been like for you getting ready for uh, pro day tomorrow? And also, you've got kind of a unique situation. You're going to have two pro days, actually, this week. What, what are you kind of looking to do in both of them cases? Uh, yeah, you know, it's been, a, it's been a great process in terms of just, you know, training in Orlando with uh, Burt Wiggum and uh, Steve Calhoun out in California. Um, it's just been a great process, you know, just putting on weight, uh, fine-tuning some things I want to show here on Tuesday or tomorrow now. And then, yeah, you know, I'll do all my testing here, all my measurements here, and then I'll throw here as well. And then I'll throw at UCF as well on Friday. Add another one in there um, as well. Uh, you, you, Health-wise, you know, obviously you came back last this past year. How do you feel with, with the leg and everything? And, and have you talked to anyone about what, there's any concerns or anything about that? Yeah, you know, obviously uh, there's going to be some question marks with teams and, and such. Um, you know, I have full clearance from my doctors up at Mayo, which is the best, the best hospital in the world. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not concerned about my knee. You know, I feel great. It's the best I've felt since I've got hurt. Um, I'm running well. I'm moving well. I'm throwing the ball well. You know, I – I wouldn't be doing a pro day if I didn't feel like I could go, you know what I mean? So I'm feeling confident in myself and my abilities and you know, I'm excited to showcase what I can do on, uh, tomorrow. Kurt Weiler. I know you got a few guys in uh, Andrew and Jordan who are kind of guys you threw to last year who, who are also looking to be drafted. Are you throwing to anyone else along with those two? You know who you're throwing to already? Yeah, we'll have some uh, – Jay Sean Corbin as well. He'll be catching the routes out of the backfield. And then we'll have some un underclassmen out there catching as well. Um, I think it's still kind of up in there who those guys are going to be just on availability, availability, seeing how those guys feel. They're going through spring ball. So, you know, that's their priority. But also it can be a good a good showing for them if they're, they're rising seniors to get in front of some scouts going into the season. So, you know, I know Jordan Young will be out there and – uh, we'll probably have one or two other guys out there as well. Um, Mackenzie, I want to ask, is there been any advice or anything anyone's told you maybe to kind of prepare yourself for what this week's going to be like when it comes to pro days and things like that? Yeah, you know, Coach Calhoun just told all our whole group today, you know, a lot of us, you know, myself, you know, through the knee, Jay Sean's had a tough injury himself. Uh Jay Will with the Achilles, Devontae with the ACL. Pop is probably one of the toughest football players I've ever been around. Jermaine Johnson has gone through the, Ju the Juco ringer and AP's played at like eight different schools. So, you know, we're all truly not supposed to be here, but we are. And I feel like everybody showcasing their talents tomorrow has an opportunity to play in the NFL. So it's exciting for all of us. And, you know, we're not supposed to be here. So we're just going to go out there and let it rip and have fun. As well. Mackenzie, when you're going through your rehab, I'm sure you know you kind of had to tell yourself that you were never going to let yourself think about not being able to, to play football again. Are you going to have to sort of attack pro day in these coming weeks the same way where you can't let it enter your mind that maybe you won't be able to play in the NFL? Um, I'm just looking for an opportunity. If it happens, that's great. If not, you know, I'm not going to get discouraged about, you know, you know, if I don't get an opportunity, whether it's drafted, undrafted, free agent, um, all I need is an opportunity is what I'm saying. So if if I get that, that's great. If not, you know, there's plenty of other opportunities to play football. Um, like I said, I, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel like I could still play at a high level. And I feel like I can. I still feel like I have a lot of room to grow and a lot of room to get better. And, you know, I just I feel confident in myself going out there and and showcasing what I can do. But even more than that, I feel confident in myself to still perform at a high level when it's 11 on 11. Corey Clark? Yeah, McKenzie, I don't know how much attention you've paid to spring practice for Florida State, but uh, it seems like Tate has taken a big jump. Uh, what, what did you see from him the year you were with him? And what kind of potential do you think he has? Yeah, we got to uh, check out the scrimmage on Saturday and – I mean, Tate looked great. Jay Trav looked great. Uh, AJ looked great. I think that just the whole team just physically looks like bigger, faster, stronger. 
And, you know, it's year three now, so they all kind of have a better understanding of what the expectations are and what their alignments, assignments are. They still got room to grow, but just just being on the sideline this past Saturday, it, it's a different feel. I think there's more of a sense of urgency that it's, it's go time. And, you know, I, I believe they'll take care of business this year. Aslan? Mackenzie, do you think you'll always kind of have an involvement in, in the college game? You know, obviously your legacy is of all the great stuff that you did on the field, but it seems like even if you, you move past this, your sort of work in NIL might be something that's going to kind of continue to carry on. Is that something that you're, you're going to want to be sort of thought about and, and held in consideration for? Yeah, I definitely think so. You know, um, Dreamfield, our NIL company is, you know, we haven't even been, haven't even hit a year yet with our, with the start of our company and, you know, it's going great and we're doing great things for the athletes. And, you know, I always have some level of involvement there, whether it's the NIL coaching. Um, and I was telling Coach Calhoun yesterday, I, I love college ball just because, you know, the locker room, there's nothing like it, the the brotherhood in that, in that aspect. Um, you really get to grow with these guys, especially the class you come in with and, and all that. So I think one way, shape or another, you know, I'll, I'll be involved with, you know, both Florida State and UCF just because they, they gave me tremendous opportunities to, to one, play, and, and two, make great relationships. Yeah. Russell Wilson's a guy who, who played for two different programs before he ended up going to the NFL, and he, he kind of gives both of them a shout-out when you hear him on Sunday night intros. If, if you're able to fulfill your goal of, of making the NFL and you have to introduce yourself, uh, how are you going to present yourself? You know, I'll either shout out both schools or I'll shout out my high school. You know, I take a lot of pride where I come from, Milani, Hawaii. Um, yeah, I I think more I, – I just take a lot of pride in coming from Hawaii and Central Oahu. So, I, I thought about that before. You know, I kind of think I might shout out my high school just because that's, that's who really made me who I am today, um, that upbringing in Hawaii. So, stay tuned for that one. Anything else for McKenzie? Thank y'all. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.